Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Title of our product is 75G Baud INP Hetero Junction Bipolar Transistor Max Digital to Analog Control Module for High Symbol Rate Optical Transmission Abstract of our product is An Ultra Broadband 6-bit Digital to Analog Converter has been designed and fabricated in INP HPT technology. The digital to analog converter IC includes a 6 2 is to 1 max and thus operates with a half rate clock. The digital to analog converter model is equipped with 1 mm connectors from its analog output to ensure broadband characteristics. The measured analog output band width is greater than 40 GHz. Four level pulse amplitude moderation signals with clear eye opening were measured at a simple rate of up to 75 GB. This multiplexer digital to analog conversion model has the widest bandwidth of any previous reported digital to analog converters and is suitable for high symbol rate optical transmitter. The 2 is to 1 maxis multipliers the 12 half rate digital signals into 6 full rate digital signals. Then the digital to analog converters converts the 6 digital signal into an analog signal. This max digital to analog converter model has a half rate of input signals and the output will be full scale output amplitude. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of our product. In our product we are using a different three model to implement our product. They are retiming, multiplexing and digital to analog controller. In in our product we are using a digital as a input signal and uh, we are using a two different input signals they are digital input and the clock input digital input have a half rate and then the clock input also have a half rate the output of our product is an analog output they are full output full rate of output in read timing they are implemented by using a 12 different D flip flop. In this D flip flop input will be a digital input and then the selection logic will be the clock pulse. This output of the read timing D flip flop is directly applied into the 2 is to 1 multiplexing block. In this multiplexing the input will be uh, come from a read timing and then the selection logic will come from the output of the phase shifter. In this phase shifter the clock rate will be applied to the input. The phase shift will be directly applied into the 2 is to 1 multiplexing circuit. In this 2 is to 1 multiplexing circuit block we are using a 6 different 2 is to 1 multiplexing. This output of the 6 different multiplexer is directly applied into the digital to analog converter clock. In this digital to analog converter block, we are using a R2 to R ladder digital to analog converter core. This core will be produce the final output of our product analog signal. They are a full red signal. Now we are going to discuss about the running procedure of our product. In our product, we are using a Tanner EDA tool for a simulation purpose. First we create a new design using this file option. File new to create a new design. In order to assign the design name using this option, assign design name in the desired path. After assigning the design name, click OK. After creating a new design, add the library files using this add option. Click 
add to select the library files path and then click ok after adding the library files all files will be added in this path logic gets buffer d flip flop inverter max nand get all logic gates are inside this logic gate library files in this spice element we are using spice element some voltage sources and etc device devices using a uh, some extra devices capacitor resistor inductor the mos devices then mos fmos also miskis and uh, source files they are vdd vss chrome file and positive file spice command is an uh, action unit the print the voltage or print the power of our product also inside the spice command after adding the library fields now start the simulation using this cell option to create a new view in order to assign our cell name after assigning the cell name click ok in our product, in our product we are using a different three cells for design our product they are timing multiplexing and the digital to analog converter the first block is on a retiming click the retiming in order to set up the simulation using this option click setup simulation to add the library files using this path tanner eda tanner tool 13.0 version libraries models generic 0.25 library and then assign the transient and pro Fourier analysis they are how much how many time to start and stop assign the stop time and the maximum time setup and then the start time also after assigning the setups by simulation click ok to start simulate this running process start simulation this is the output waveform of a retiming. Expand this waveform using this expand chart option. They are also the output of the retiming process. The input will be the clock signal and then the output will be produced in the reference zone to reference 12. They are all the output of the retiming. Now start simulate the second model of our product. They are multiplexing. Select the multiplexing to start the simulation using this start simulation option. This is the output waveform of a multiplexing. Expand this waveform using this expand chart option. They are all the output of our product multiplexing circuit. Selection is on a selection logic, clock is on a clock input signal. The max 1, max 2, max 3 also the 6 different multiplexing output signal. Now we are going to simulate the another one of a model. They are final digital to analog control model. Select the digital to analog control model to start the simulation. This is the output waveform of a digital to analog converter waveform expand this waveform using this expand chart option the clock is an input clock signal d is, is an input digital signal v an one and an two is an analog output signal v cell equals an selection signal of our product thank you for watching this video